y'all better start checking out these used cars, okay? If you buy them from a buy here, pay here, some used car lot, you better get that right facts done. Get that right facts report. Get someone to check out the car, someone that knows about cars, okay? Because once you brought it, that's it. And then y'all be ready to take somebody to court because you didn't do your due diligence with your coins. Okay? Get the right facts. Check them out. $6,400. Rachel McManus wanted to buy a car for her daughter's 16th birthday. Found this post online on Facebook. Asked him how many miles were on it. Um, he told us almost 90,000. But Rachel's sweet surprise quickly nosedived into a living nightmare. My husband's driving the vehicle. He immediately gets out, says something's wrong with this car. It resets, reads 210,000 miles. Rachel had fallen victim to odometer fraud, where criminals roll back the miles on a car so they can sell it for more. The U.S. government says every year, almost half a million vehicles are sold with fake odometer readings, costing Americans over $1 billion. We have three cars that were seized uh, part of the same investigation. Lieutenant Jason Schrader with the North Carolina Division of Motor Vehicles chases car fraud. Uh, the odometer on this vehicle is 91,890 miles. Does this have 91,890 miles? It, it does not. Significantly more? Significantly more. A practice seen in movies like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Just have to crack open the odometer. And Matilda. You run it backwards, the numbers go down. Watch your speedometer. Now on the rise in real life, as supply chain shortages in new cars drive record numbers of Americans to seek used cars, raising prices. The average price tag of a second-hand vehicle, now $27,000, compared to $20,000 pre-pandemic. What are some ways that you see odometers tampered with? One, physically, meaning with physical tools, rolled back, depending on the type of odometer. And secondly, they can be done uh, electronically. But if you're in the market for a used car, experts say you can protect yourself. Number one, buy from a dealership whom you trust and someone that's got your back. Secondly, always leverage a third-party vehicle history report. What are red flags on a vehicle history report? A red flag on a vehicle history report would be if the mileage increases and then you see one going in the other direction. And if you're shopping online, places like Facebook Marketplace suggest looking at the seller's profile and reporting any suspicious activity. A little bit of research to prevent a whole lot of pain down the road. What kind of emotions were you feeling? You get sad, you get anger, you get sick feeling. 